video, I'm going to show you how to batch edit your images. So um, if you have several photos that you want to edit all the same way um, and you're familiar with using Photoshop Actions, then this would be a great tool and uh, time-saving tip for you. I'm going to include a link in the blog post to how um, how you can create actions and how to load actions. So if you're unfamiliar with those, make sure you check those out. I'm going to be using um, the Urban Rhino Photoshop actions in this tutorial, um, particularly the Chanel collection. So I'll make sure I include a link for those as well. So what you'll do is go to the folder. I'm in Adobe Bridge right now. Um, you will find your images that you want to edit all the same way. So you want to, for instance, if I um, want to turn all of these to black and white, but I want them to all have the same tone, contrast, and so on, um, that's why I'm gonna batch edit them. Um, you can keep them in a folder or you can open them all at once. Usually if I have just a few pictures, I'll open them at once. Um, you can also um, do this actually from Photoshop so I'm going to show you both ways so if you want to open an image um, you can do it this way or um, if I want to just edit them straight from the folder so this folder here um, I can do that as well so let me go back to Photoshop I'm going to go to make sure that I know which um, action or action set that I want to use. I'm going to go to File, Automate, Batch, and I already have it selected here, the one that I want to use. So I am using the black and white Louboutin Love right here, which is a light map. Um, the source. So if you had pictures that were open, you would just select Open Files. If you are choosing them from a folder like I'm going to do, um, you'll select the file that they're in. And this is the folder. It looks like there's no nothing there because I'm not opening it, but that's the folder that I want um, that has the images in it that I want to batch edit. So I'm going to select that. Um, and then I want to um, make sure that the destination is so that it just saves them and closes them. If you want to save them to a new folder, you can select that. And then I'm going to hit OK. And then if you watch, it's going to start running through these and editing them. Save, OK. Um, depending on the, the action that you have, you can have that set so that you don't have to click that each time. Um, if you're editing, you know, 50 or 100, batch editing 50 or 100 images at one time, you're not going to want to sit here and do this. Um, but I just wanted to make sure this popped up so that you could see that you may run into that. So what I would want to do is go into the actual action itself and um, make sure I change that so that I don't have to click this each time. Um, I'm going to skip forward in the video so you don't have to watch all of these edit and then I will show you at the end what they look like. Okay, so it's just finishing up the last image here. And on that action, um, the reason it's asking me to do this is because it's saving it as a Photoshop document instead of a JPEG. Um, so that's just something I need to change on my action that I overlooked. No big deal there and we'll let it finish up. Um, while that's finishing, if you look here, let me bleed it out these, you will see now all of them are edited with the same, I've got a copy there, um, with the same action set. It's still going Let's see here. 
And then I'm deleting out um, these, there we go, the colored ones. So, um, like I said, you can see now it has edited all of these photos quickly um, so that they are all the same. They all have the same tone. They all have the same level of matte finish to them. Um, it's super time saving. Um, the only thing, like I said, that I would want to correct is to make sure that it saves it as a JPEG instead of a Photoshop document so I don't have to sit there and click OK or the Save button on each one. Um, so really simple. Um, again, if you want to open your images first and do it that way, you can, or you can select them from the folder. So I hope that saves you guys some time. Um, and I, again, I'm going to link those other videos on the blog post. So if you have any questions, make sure you leave them below. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you stay connected with Urban Rhino on social media. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment below, and of course, subscribe to our channel.